so it looks a bit longer on me it's like below my butt area quite a bit long Hey y'all, it's your girl Curly Kiki and welcome back to my channel. Now if you're new, please don't forget to hit that subscription button below the video and please do give this video a thumbs up before leaving. I had the flu while installing this hairstyle but I am recovering so my voice is not quite there, hence the, you know, the little heaviness in my voice. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I installed these butterfly locks. This hair was sent to me by ZRQ and I'm going to put the link in the description below. This here is a shade 4 and it comes in 10 pieces per pack. When I'm installing my locks and I'm wrapping the roots of my hair, I always use spring twist here. However, I couldn't get the exact shade in the shade 4 so I decided to use some of the extra locks I had for the wrapping here. So once unraveled, this is what the hair was looking like. For this style, I'm using my crochet needle as well as some edge control. You can use any type you want, but these are the ones that I use for the style. And my hair is not freshly braided. These braids has been installed for at least six weeks before I tried doing this hairstyle over it because I didn't have the time to take the braids out, redo my hair, um, do the parting and everything. Um, so I decided to put install the locks over it. And this is what it looks like once I'm done with that first row of the locks. You can see it looks neat it looks like if it was fresh braids in there so you don't need to redo your hair your braids if you're installing locks it doesn't really matter that much because you're not going to be seeing it so this is the second row and you can if you look closely you see how much new growth i actually have but once you install those locks you are not noticing that your hair had been braided for such a long time before installing the locks now once i was finished with the entire back of my hair this is what it was looking like um so you can see it looks neat it looks neat <laughs> so let's move on to the front now for prepping my hair i am using my edge control to sort of bring my edges down so that it doesn't get caught up within the braids and i'm separating my hair doing it row by row and adding the jam to the roots now if you look closely you see i have about one inch of hair growth within those braids but i mean it doesn't matter because the hair still looks neat once you prep the hair correctly so once you add your shine and jam or edge control whatever you're using you want to try to brush it and comb it in properly Move, remove your edges because you don't want it to be pulling within this hairstyle and you separate your sections make sure you can you know try to neaten your parts as much as possible if you're using braids that were there previously i mean if you're using new braids to install the locks it's not going to be that hard now for installing the locks this is the one of the strands that i had unraveled from the locks so i had the exact match wrapping here for the lock so you're not going to see a transition in the color so i'm cutting this here I, I don't usually like to use the wrapping here too long so you can see i'm measuring it out probably half and half um, from the strand and i'm going to add it to the lock i'm taking my crochet needle and putting it through the loop of the hair and i'm going to use that same crochet needle to hook the wrapping here onto it latch the crochet needle and pull that wrapping here through the loop of the lock and this is what it looks like once you pull that wrapping here through the locks now when it's time to install i'm at putting my crochet needle at the base of my hair sort of in the middle of that braid and i'm pulling the wrapping here through now you can wrap in any direction it really doesn't matter any direction that is comfortable to you you can wrap and when you're wrapping you want to make those first few wraps a bit tight so that it holds the lock in place if you're using fresh braids you can do like the first three wraps also a bit tight but because these braids are not fresh i have to wrap tightly um probably at least two inches down my hair before i loosen up the wrapping process so probably two or to three inches down i had to wrap tightly and then once i'm done i'm loosening up the wrapping and i'm going down my hair to sort of conceal my hair itself within the lock now remember my hair is more like a shade 1b and the locks is a shade 4 so you have to sort of wrap where you are covering your hair if it's not the same color as the locks 
now when doing the center if you look close you'll see i had added my products and then i'm smoothing out the products and trying to neaten my part and it's the same process i use throughout my entire hair for the neatening process once i add the products i'm using the comb to sort of comb the products through and spread it within my hair and neaten the parts as well just for any little flyaway hairs that me you know new growth in between the parts i am sort of neatening it with a comb then i go in and add my locks so you just gotta take your time when you're using over like braided here it cuts down on some of the time i will admit but sometimes it's a bit difficult when wrapping because you have more here to wrap at the beginning of the lock like more tightly so you have to be you know a little cautious um, when you're using old braids but it does cut down on the time as i mentioned before So you want to hold the lock as close to your hair as possible and start wrapping as close to um, the roots as possible so hold the lock as close to the roots and wrap as close to the roots as possible um, the first few wraps being a bit tight and as you move down your braid or your hair you can start loosening up that wrap for the locks now when wrapping your hair sometimes the wrapping hair may not be enough to conceal all of your hair depending on the length of your hair but all you have to do is add an extra piece of hair to continue that wrapping process to conceal all of your hair and i'm going to demonstrate that pretty soon so you see that's my hair that is remaining that wasn't wrapped with the initial piece so here i'm just adding an extra piece of the wrapping hair and i'm using it to conceal my hair there are many different ways to add that wrapping here you can just rest it flat on the lock um hold it and start wrapping downwards or you can go upwards and then come back down to hold that in another method you can do is put the hair in half as you can see create a loop and once you create that loop you pull the wrapping here through as demonstrated in the video and start wrapping going downwards so that keeps the wrapping here in place as well and you wrap straight down to the end of that wrapping here and it's gonna hold it's not gonna unravel you don't need any glue or anything like that to hold the wrapping here in place you just wrap straight down to the end of that wrapping here as much as possible as you can like every little strand you wrap that and it's going to stay so this is what it looks like once i was done with my entire head and as usual i'm recording the finishing look probably um two or three days after i installed the locks now it is very long very long <laughs> if you're into long hair long locks this is definitely for you if you're new to locks i would say probably go with a shorter length than these 30 inch now i am short so it looks a bit longer on me it's like below my butt area quite a bit long um but the hair is light so even though it's long the hair is light and you can put these as tight as you want to using the method that i showed in the video so if you don't want your hair too tight don't wrap the roots too tightly and you are going to be fine so this is the hair this is the final look now the hair can it is quite versatile because you can use the part either like anywhere you want to put the part you can put it because of the braiding pattern that i used so let me know what you think about the hairstyle in the comment section below drop a comment let me know if you think the hair is probably too long let me know if you think it's perfect length let me know if you like the color or anything about the video please do leave a comment down below and we can discuss it there so let me know what you think thank you very much for tuning in thank you very much for staying until the end please do hit that subscription button below the video if you have not yet subscribed and do give this video a thumbs up before leaving so until next time